How's everyone doing? This is Josh from Newtons Per Second, and today we are building the Aerotech G79 White Lightning loadable motor system. This is my first time doing this, and I had to watch some videos. Uh, give credit to uh, uh, Tim from Apogee. I did watch his video, so I'm going to go through the process myself, and it doesn't seem to be too bad, but um, with the launch I have, going on tomorrow. I want to put this together now and there's a close-up of that. And we'll get started. So bear with me. I haven't done this before like I said but again it doesn't look, it doesn't look too bad. I try to have everything ready. Now, I know you need lubricant. We're going to need some epoxy, gloves, some mix epoxy, a little sandpaper. I didn't bring a knife, so I had the stab package with a screwdriver. So I'm just kind of reading through the instructions and these are pretty similar to um, what Tim does and I've watched some other videos too. So right, we'll get to it. So first off they want you to apply some lubricant to the O-ring. So let's get that going. And I'm using, this is what I'm using for uh, lubrication. Actually, I'll just put a little bit there. So they want you to just put it on on the edge right here. Like on the inside here. Just a little bit. They don't want you to go they don't want it in here, they just want it around. Alright, so put this away, that's all we're going to need that for. Now we'll insert the, you know, in there saying be very careful not to touch the delay green itself, so we'll be careful with that. So I'm going to set this in. Spacer that's going to go inside here. Pretty snug fit. That's a really snug, snug fit, so take your time with that. So you have a little bit that's sticking out. So you want to take this, actually a little excessive lubricant, I want to be careful of that. So that's going to go right on the end here. So you can see that's pretty pretty flush now. That's what that looks like on the bottom. Okay, so this is the delay grain assembly. So once that's together, they want you to you'll now push this into your, um, your upper cap here. Or 
four enclosure, excuse me. That fits in nice. Let's see how that goes right in there. Okay. We're up to step three. So far, I feel pretty good about this. <laughs> okay, so the next thing they want us to do is to make sure that there's a cardboard insulator that goes over the grain, which they already have it in there. Okay. So some of these, looks like some of these steps are already like done for you. Um, I think the one, like I said, like, like Tim was putting together, the F motor, they want to just slide that in, but again, you want to be careful not to get anything on these grains. But there, um, there's actually two grains in there. So we'll leave that together. Again, try not to get anything on, on these grains. So that's all set. It does say something on, on this next step here about putting the the insulator, which helps, I guess, keep your casing um, cool, or not cool, but cooler. Um, so that step is already done, and I think these kind of go by motor by motor, it seems like. And the next step they want us to do is slide the, the grain into your casing. And now you grab your, um, it's kind of like this plasticky cardboard washer. So that's going to drop in here. That fits in real nice. You can see that. So the last step, they just want us to apply some epoxy right on these threads here. And then you screw this down. It doesn't say you really have to tighten it down too hard, but kind of like, you know, finger tight, make sure nothing's rattling loose. Then after, when this is screwed down in here, make sure you just put like a bead, almost like a fillet of glue right on the top here. And that's pretty much it. Um, I know in other videos of loadable motor systems, the, the thrust ring, oh, sorry, I just took it all out. The thrust ring, you actually had the glue one on. This one, you do not. This is all built in, which I feel better about that. Okay, so time to make some epoxy. So, again, they're saying, very important, just get the epoxy on the threads. You know, don't get any epoxy on the uh, motor grain or the delay grain. Be super careful about that. Yeah, I think I still mixed up way too much epoxy. And I am not putting it, I'm trying to keep it like at least one thread away so as I screw this down, I don't want it to seep into, you know, I really don't want it to seep too far down and potentially hit the, uh, the motor green. Alright, here we go. Making sure that washer is flat in there. Double check and make sure I don't have any extra parts laying around. <laughs> Alright, that's hand tight. That feels pretty good. 
Okay, so this is the other thing they're talking about is just put a fillet in right here. Or a bead, or you want to call it. Just shake it and make sure nothing's loose. You never know. Alright, loose gloves. That feels pretty good. Alright, need a last step. This side is loading the delay, and I don't want to load the delay yet. I will wait till I'm on the field for that. I don't know why this seems like the most satisfying part. the whole build right here. <laughs> there we go. The last step. <laughs> Ta -da. So now this has gone from a loadable motor system to a single use motor. The sticker feels good. I think I got all that grease off. So cool. There it is. I'm excited. So this will go into the mailing tube project that I uh, started some time ago. And it's been a rough year flying. We've had a series of canceled flights due to wind conditions. I missed a launch for... Um, I can't remember. There was something going on. I couldn't make it. And then we had another cancel flight and it just, it's been rough. The super dry season. Now I can finally get caught up on some of these projects. Like the mailing tube. I still got my 3 inch carbon fiber rocket to fly. That's still deployment. That little 3 inch rocket weighs over 6 pounds loaded. So, I mean I got a lot going on. I still gotta get my next CERT tube next month, uh, September, I believe, 17th. Uh, that, that's, a, you know, that's a big one for me. And, you know, a lot of exciting things. You know, I, I feel like the weather's finally tipped our way to get so many flights in. And um, I, I just want some, you know, to complete some of these projects and testing how they fly and all that. So, um, exciting. So, here it is, the Aerotech Loadable Motor System. This is the G79 Light Lightning with a 7 second delay. And yeah, not too bad. Yeah, that, that epoxy's already set. So, um, they said you can do these on the field. If you use the 5 minute epoxy, you know, give it like 30 minutes for that epoxy to really kind of set. And uh, yeah, it should be good to go. Again, the, the last part of this on the instructions is putting the ejection charge into the motor. So this holds the black powder. You pour that into the cap. And this is your cap that goes on and you push that in. And that holds your black powder charge. Yeah. So here's your Ignite a wire, so that's going to go in, and you can use the rubber band to help hold the ignite wire to the motor. And that, that, that's about it. But like I said, I'm not prepping this with all that right now. I'll do that on the field. So that, those are the only things I didn't do. Thanks everybody for watching the video. And next video will be hopefully some cool flights of 
the melee tube, the three inch rocket going up on this, and the Fortrex rocket that's redesigned going up on H135 Aerotech White Lightning motor. Both flights are again a test, and the Fortrex rocket will be deploying the McDonald's French fry parachute. You know, I like to do another flight of that, and I'm only looking to lob these up. A couple of test flights and should be cool. So thanks again everybody. See you next video.